Hey Nerves, it's Warsold Lenny sending in, and today uh, I am making another build, back at it again, I should say. So, this build is slightly different. I was really inspired by uh, Star Wars, and more specifically Lego Star Wars, because um, they have this, like, area where you're, like, kind of going through the trees, and you have to, like, follow a certain path, and, and it was pretty cool, man. It, it brings some just n nostalgia back, so I decided to make a house in the trees. So, what this is essentially, it's kind of like a treehouse, except each room is on a different tree. And it's kind of built around that premise. So, it's it's pretty cool because the whole thing kind of just works together simultaneously. The first thing I'm doing, by the way, is figuring out what trees work well in like in the scenario that I want to use them with and which ones don't. So this is kind of my selection of trees and I started placing them and I really like them. But there is a huge mistake with the tree placement. You'll find it out real quick what it is. It's simply that it's unplayable with these types of trees. So I had to go with a skinnier type of tree but if I could those trees would be there because they look amazing I personally think. But yeah, so this is me kind of designing stuff. Uh, it's on the third light level of um, The Sims. Again, I want it to be nice and tall. I wanted you to kind of like look down and like there's just a forest, right? You're surrounded by a forest. So I kept it really simple, the forest, and you'll see that later, later on in the video. But this is me trying to figure out how to make the stairs how I want them to be. But, unfortunately, like, they wouldn't connect, and I, I really don't like that. I wish they connected, because it would have been super awesome. So I had to come up with a way of making a little platform there, so you could go up the stairs. And it was interesting, I just suppose. I don't know, I feel like this entire place, it's just, it's so cool how to get to one place to another, you have to go outside. But then at the same time, everything is already outside, because there's so many, like, open places, and instead of having, like, really big windows, because, of course, there is actual windows within the build, but the windows, like, are pretty much just open area. The entire thing, is it's kind of like a, a little, like, couple's getaway kind of thing, because... Unfortunately, you have to use all of this space for, um, like, a like a little tr retreat, right? And so that's, that's the difficulty of it, is because there's so many, like, pathways and directions you can go, and the outside space just takes up so much space that I couldn't add, like, a whole bunch of children's bedrooms or, or, or what have you. Um, and this is me playing around with the areas and making the rooms and such and deleting them and... All that fun stuff. I don't know. Watching me do this over again, I just I remember the struggles of putting all the the buildings together and such. So I'm glad it turned out well. I think. Um, but yeah, no, it was definitely something fun. Um, and again, it's a house in the trees. It's super super cool. And unfortunately, like it is on the gallery, but on the gallery you can't actually see any of the furniture. So I just pretty much put in the gallery description. I'm like just. Just come over to the YouTube channel and look at the furnishing. <laughs> like, you can skip to the screenshots. I don't care. Um, but you'll see this kind of area get coming together and such. It's, oh, it's so awesome. Like, I'm so happy and stoked about this build, how it kind of turned out. Like, this is what I mean. Like, I think the pathways don't really change after this. Well, they do a little bit, actually. But not, not a big change. But it's super cool. Like, you have a room on kind of each corner of the lot, plus the center room. Because I feel like the living room is the center of the house. Now, theoretically, if there was a ladder, there'd be a ladder going to the living room. But that does not actually possible. So that's why I put the stairs in kind of like the corner of the lot. Let's pretend they're not there. It's, it's supposed to be a ladder, okay? It's a ladder. <laughs> I wish ladders existed. That'd be, like, really awesome. This is me deciding on what I wanted to do with the roof. And I kind of went with adding that same, um, like, wood finish. Like, the the rails all around. What is it? Yeah, railing. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, so that's kind of where that came from. And it will continue to, to kind of look that way. So this is my thinking. So whenever I built this, this was, like, 
the beginning of the month, and by that I mean like January 8th-ish is when I started building this, um, and I finished it today, which today is January 21st, sorry, it's 22nd, so there was like almost 20 days of me not working on this, so yeah. I wanted to keep the trees and such, but it wasn't going to work out, so I had to delete all the trees, and furnish from there and then add the trees back in and I didn't end up going with the same trees I started with which is kind of really disappointing <laughs> I really wanted it to work but it, it didn't work no sorry I keep like I keep going on like these rambles that don't make any sense but um anyway this house is for a couple who are like really in touch with nature and because of that like they have the old style tv like they don't they don't care is kind of the idea that I had. They're like, oh yeah, like this is our house. We love nature. We built, we like, we built our own sofa. We built this. We did this ourselves. And I feel like they're kind of like the DIY kind of people. And because of that, they're like out of touch with today's technology and society. So that's kind of where that inspiration came from. This is me deciding what I'm going to put. And this is, again, where I kind of found the character of the home. And I always do the kitchen. I try to do it first uh, if I don't know how I want to make the character of the home. Because it's interesting to me. Because I'm like, I don't know if I want the character of the home to be more modern. I always find myself accidentally putting modern pieces in. And then taking them out later. And I'm like, okay. This is not a modern home. Stop putting modern stuff in it. Get rid of it. Why am I always yawning in recordings? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm tired, apparently. I had a really busy day at work yesterday. But we don't need to talk about that. Anyway, that's the kitchen. Super cool. Super, you know, interesting. This is when I kind of decided on I'm going to have a whole bunch of different wood finishes. It's None of it's going to make sense. None of it's going to match. It's just going to work together. Um... And I just kind of went with whatever I wanted. I split up the kind of open living room and the kitchen. It's in the same building, and that's the only one that actually has the same stuff. Um, simply because I had to have some sort of hallway walkway area, but it was divided by trees, so I thought that was kind of cool. Like, it's in a tree house, and then there's a tree divider. I wanted an actual divider, but I couldn't find them, so I, I'm kind of happy when I did find them that I stuck with what I wanted, because it turned out really well, I think, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it's, this is me kind of working on the hall, me trying to figure out what statue thing I want to put, decided I can't find one, I'll just throw bookshelves there, I call it a second yard, what's wrong with me? Ah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know, this build didn't take as long because it was such a small home, because it really is meant for two people, and, you know, the people who are like, I don't want family, I don't want, you know, hard work or, or whatever, you just kind of live on their own, and that's kind of what I imagined them to be, like, I don't, whatever I'm building a house, I kind of imagine what they're going to be like, and I work off of that. Now here's me putting some lights in and such. I did change a lot of the lights because I found it, it wasn't enough lighting. Uh, but it, in the end it works. I wanted to light up the railways because that would really suck if you had to walk from one room to another and you couldn't see in the middle of the night. You literally would just like fall. <laughs> like, I feel like the, I'd be that one person to just fall off the railing and like onto the, the three a two-story drop? Two-story drop. Okay, fourth yawn. I'm dying here, guys, apparently. But yeah, this is the living room with some furnishing. I added some color because I realized I wasn't putting a lot of color into the furnishings of these. And that really old-style TV I was talking about. Pretty simple build. Like, it's nothing too extravagant, and it, it's not really not meant to be, right? It's meant to be really simplistic. And, like, I chose the, the wooden bench thing. Because I feel like they'd be proud to put that in the house. Like, oh, I built this bench. Now it's our living room thing. Not that it's comfortable at all. Because probably isn't. Um, but yeah. I really wanted to put a lot of like activities and skills and stuff throughout the house. Although that didn't happen. Um, throughout. But 
I did put a lot more than I usually do, and the reason why I wanted to put them in is because I just feel like if you were building it, then it would work. Also, side note, I totally forgot, uh, I lost a recording, so I kind of, I saw what was happening, and I kind of went back, so here is the portions that I did. This is the study, and I kind of put a chess table and some bookshelves and a little computer, old-fashioned computer, and then back to that uh, bedroom that you just saw put some, you know, furnishings and kind of the boring details of things, but yeah, it's not that, that different. Anyway, continuing in fast mode, uh, with, um, you know, finishing this room off because it wasn't done yet. I just, I, I was eating breakfast, so I stopped recording and I forgot to, to hit record again. My bad. Luckily, it was only like 10 minutes of stuff, so like not even 30 seconds, so it's, it's totally fine. Um, me adding some windows because I totally forgot to add windows, and this is when I was like, okay, I definitely want the wood furnishings for the bathroom, because I feel like that's something that would be there. Um, man, I wish you could upsize mirrors, that would be so nice. Like, absolutely amazing if you could do that. Me deciding, and I love those circle carpet, and again, this is my number one problem. I love modern stuff, and then I just, I see modern things, and I just want to put them in, and I'm like, oh wait, I can't. I'm not allowed. <laughs> That's for another build. <laughs> So the, yeah, that's what I do. Um, so this is the bathroom. Like I said, there's not a lot of stuff there. Like it's only a five room house. It's not. It's not a big house. It's expensive though. It's a hundred thousand dollar home. So I hope you have a job. <laughs> um, because I don't know. I build without thinking about pricing. And and maybe I'll do a, you know, beginner house. What is it called? Move in house. That's under twenty thousand for one sim or something. I don't know. Be interesting. Be oh, well, you'd be really cool if I did kind of like a little bit of a series. We do like being in our house for one sim, two sims, three sims, four sims, all the way to eight sims, which would be kind of crazy. Um, yeah, and this is me trying to put all the trees back, and then I realized, oh wait, this isn't practical. So I kind of went with the same tree to support the areas and such, and I put a ton of little trees and big trees and medium trees and just trees. There's a lot of trees. And I wanted to keep the forest kind of empty because I feel like it's one of those, you know, there's kind of various different types of forests. There's the really heavy, you know, trees everywhere you can't get through kind of trees. There's like the trees where like horses will go through it. So there's pathways, but otherwise it's kind of heavy. And then there's kind of like the open with the tall trees. And when I imagined this place, this location, I imagined kind of like an open ground but with a ton of trees, like tall, really big trees. And so that's why it's kind of open. I added some grass things here and there, a little bush in the middle of that, because why not? And kind of that was it. So I'm going into the screenshots. Here's the outside of the house uh, facing the master bedroom. And all oh, just all you see is trees, but I swear there's a building in there. <laughs> um, and then the front of the house... I love how you can just look out from the study and just see everything. That's why I put an easel in there. And yeah, this is kind of the entrance of the house that we're going to pretend doesn't exist because it's supposed to be a ladder. Um, <laughs> and the foyer, the kitchen and the foyer with the little dividers. Um, the, what is it called, island? I really like how this house turned out. I think it's really pretty. Um, I love how I could mix and match woods. I love the antique furniture throughout because I feel like that's kind of the people that they are. Because um, antique furniture I find has a lot of like proud woodsman workmanship. So yeah, and this is the, the living room. The living room that doesn't look like a living room, which is kind of <laughs> cool. Because I, I love that bench. Like it's so out there and usually you would never put that in like a living room. And it just, it totally works and I love it for it. So yeah, this is the master bedroom. And I like how this turned out. It was the biggest room within the house. Um, and it was the only one on a diagonal because I wanted to keep it quite interesting. Now, of course, it has its own views. And here's more of, like, the paths and stuff. I just, I love how this turned out. This is absolutely amazing. I just, I had so much fun building this. And I did test it with my Sam. It totally works. Everything works in the house. Um... It w it's great. I love it. And I love how I changed the trees. Just ignore that tree coming into the house. We're going to pretend that doesn't exist. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it turned out really good. And I'd highly recommend everyone and anyone to try out building something like this because it's kind of out there. 
and uh, it turned out really well in my opinion. And of course, because they don't have a closet in their bedroom, they have to have somewhere to put their clothes, so that's where the bedroom or the bathroom comes in. That's why it's bigger. All right, bye guys. It's Warsaw Lenny signing up.